Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Suncor 20x50 binoculars. One of the things that really irks me is when product packaging lists specs that don't match what's inside or the product listing where I made the purchase. I bring this up because the box that these came in says these are 10x50 binoculars. It says that here in front, on the side, and on the back. That just caused him to question whether or not I got the right product, which is supposed to be 20 by 50. So we'll have to look for some markings on the actual unit to verify. Let's take a look inside. You'll receive a neoprene carrying bag with a shoulder strap. Inside are the binoculars, two microfiber cleaning cloths, an instruction sheet, and a lanyard. Here in the front, you can see that these are marked 20 by 50. The binoculars are pretty heavy, weighing just over 2 pounds. They measure 8 inches wide, 7 inches long, and 2.5 and inches thick. The binoculars have rubber lens caps on the front and back lenses. The ones on the front are tethered so you won't lose them, but the ones over the eye lenses are not attached, so make sure you put them somewhere safe once you take them off. The first thing you want to do is adjust the width so that when you look into the binoculars you see a single circle of view. According to the instructions, there are supposed to be markings here so that you can quickly set the binoculars for next time. But these few dashes and dots aren't actually very helpful for this, and they're kind of hard to see in set. I'm not sure why they didn't just use degree markers in a contrasting color. To focus, you're going to want to close your right eye. Then, turn the focus ring in the center until the image seen with the left eye is in focus. Next, open your right eye and close your left eye while looking at the same object, and adjust the front right eyepiece until what you see with your right eye is also in focus. Again, there's supposed to be a scale here so you can set it to that position every time, but all you see is a plus, minus, and dot with no reference points, and in fact the rubber eye cup can be removed and repositioned at will, which makes these markings useless. Regardless, once both settings are set, you can look with both eyes and the image should be clear. As you look around at things that are closer or farther away, you'll need to adjust the focus, but you only need to turn the center dial and it should bring everything into focus for both eyes. With these binoculars, you won't be able to focus on an object that's less than 15 feet away, but you should be able to focus on objects that are about 150 feet away. Other than the missing scales for the adjustments, the binoculars are easy to use and adjust. They seem to work well, although sometimes the eyepieces tend to fog up, and they are quite heavy, so it gets tiring to hold them. However, you should be able to use them for bird watching, sporting events, and even live performances. But note that they're not waterproof if you're using them outdoors. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.